Good morning, my Capricorns. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Hope you guys had a great week. Weekend, I should say. Lovely weekend, that new moon in Aries. Tell me you manifested big. We're going to switch it up this week from the usual Celtic cross. We're just going to kind of see like what happened in the past and you know, the energy coming towards you. It's kind of like a Celtic cross, really. It's just a different, it's a bit different spread. It's almost kind of like helping you get past some blockages if you have any. So um, it'd help if I could shuffle. Joining us today is Harry the Capricorn. Harry. See? Oh, no, he's not showing his head. Sorry. He's laying there on the ottoman. He's just like, I'm going to be nine. I am too old and too tired for this. So, okay, Capricorns. What is going on? I feel like I need to do one more shuffle for you guys. Horrible shuffle at that, but let's get it going. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you are Capricorn, know a Capricorn, resonate as a Capricorn. I'll take you, Capricorn. I am so glad you're here. Let's find out what's going on. Past position. What happened in the past for Capricorns? What happened in the past for you guys? Strength. Holding back. Staying. I almost feel like staying on your path, really. But because it, it's almost like a challenge, I feel like maybe somebody could have been holding back to you, holding back from you, but I feel like it's you holding back. What? How, do, how did you see yourself during this time? How did you see yourself, Capricorn? How did you see yourself? Ooh, Seven of Swords. Why do I feel like this is a cross watcher's breed? Did you guys deal with somebody who held back? I can't. I mean, Capricorn, you could have done this to somebody. I almost feel like, I honestly feel like somebody did this to you. Somebody held back, um, protecting their own interests. I mean, look at that. And it's a snake. I mean, you see that? She's covered in flowers, but under, underneath she's a snake. Presents herself on the outside world as some, you know, someone attractive and honorable. I mean, she's not that attractive, but still. I feel like this was your investment down here. You had a lot more emotions in stake, but she was just focused on her own interest and held back. Let's see. What did you learn from this experience, Capricorn? What did you learn from this experience? King of Cups. I love that. This is, this is, we have, wow, we have Leo. Yeah, and we have the Scorpio. The King of Cups is um, an Aquarius. The Queen, the King of Cups I, I, I really like that because the situation you were in was, was I mean, I mean, come on. You probably went through a lot of pain here. There was a, probably a lot of mind games going on with the Seven of Swords, but you are balanced. I mean, I feel like I don't know what it was previous to this, but it feels like you got deeper into your emotions. Do you see the whale in the center of his being? Can you guys see that whale, whale right there? I can't even talk. Whales go deep into the ocean, right? They go, they go into really dark, the deep depths of the water. And I think you are more, maybe you're more in tune to your emotional state. You're more balanced. I mean, no matter what the waves are, and you know, which rich represent emotions, no matter how wavy and how emotionally things can come at you, um, the King of Cups remains steadfast. He remains fair. He's not ruled by his emotions. I like that. What's your present situation, Capricorn? What presently is going on for you guys? Where are you at right now? Queen of Wands reversed. I feel like this is you. Now, I feel like this is you focusing on yourselves. The Queen of Wands reversed is... I, I feel like this is just you. Yeah, this is just you getting your, it's like Stella getting her groove back kind of thing. This is just you getting yourself back. This is you focusing, maybe maybe you're um, dressing better. You, maybe you're just, I mean, the Queen of Wands is charismatic and when it's upright and she goes after what she wants and she's an extrovert, right? The Queen of Wands reverse is a bit introverted you're just really self-focused. You're like in your internal right now. Maybe you're kind of pulling yourself away from um, other people. You're just staying away from, I mean, yeah, it's COVID and stuff like that. But I feel like this is just you staying away from a lot of energies because you're just trying to build yourself up. I mean, you're, you got your emotional balance back. Maybe you're trying to work on that physical aspect, getting the job together, just getting your confidence back, probably from a situation that probably took a bite out of your confidence, which was up here.
And, and oddly, because they're next to each other, the seven of wands reverse and the queen of wands reverse, if this is who you were dealing with, this is probably a, a player, you know, when you're dealing with other energies, the queen of wands reverse definitely could be a player kind of energy. Somebody who is in it for their own interests. I mean, like she's holding her own egg. And it was just about fun times for them. They had no long-term investment for you. I mean, but, but how you're seeing yourself, I love that with the King of Cups reverse, you're balanced. And probably I'm feeling like it was a fight to get there though. What's coming in for you, Capricorn, that's going to influence your present situation? That What's coming in that will influence this? What's the energy coming in that's going to influence it? Eight of Swords reversed. Oh, hallelujah. Getting out of that mental torture. You're letting us go. I'm feeling very four of pentacles reversed here. You're letting us, you're letting us go. I think some of you realize this was a lesson. This was something to teach you. Something, I mean, it, it maybe you were like a knight and before you dealt with this and it turned it brought you all the way up to a king status. It it brought you to your higher self, maybe more in tune to what you want in life, which is why it's the Queen of Wands reverse. This is you're balancing your emotions, and now Capricorn is just like, now it's time to focus on me. It's time to focus on what I want and where I'm going. And as you focus on you, you let go of what you can no longer control, which is other people. You're letting go of other people's karma and other people's actions. And with the Eight of Swords reverse, you're getting out of that mental torture and just letting kind of like life take it. You know, you're kind of going with the flow. I like it. How will this affect you? By getting out of the Eight of Swords reverse, how will that affect you, Capricorn? How will that affect you? How will it affect you? Oh, yes. Six of Wands. Two Leos. Maybe some of you have a lot of Leo in your chart. Could have been dealing with a Leo. Six of Wands. Didn't I say get, Stella getting her groove back? Capricorn, you're getting your groove back. You're feeling, you know, when you're, when you're out of the mental torture, it's like forgiving yourself. Maybe some of you are kind of like, damn, I shouldn't have, I should have known better. I shouldn't have got into a situation like this. I should have known they were selfish. I should have known that they were a narcissist. You're letting that crap go. You're forgiving yourself with the Eight of Swords reversed. And you know what happens? Six of Wands. This is you going after your own victory. This is you healing your ego, the ego part of you. And once you heal this, the Six of Wands, we are going to flip the Queen of Wands right side up. And Capricorn's going to come out. You're going to come out. like It's kind of like, I feel, you know what I feel like? I feel like this is like um, a butterfly, like you've been in a, um, I forgot the name of it, like a cocoon, you know, and while you healed. And as you're healing, I don't even know if you realize how much you've transformed. You have transformed. I mean, with the King of Cups, I feel like you are probably such a different person than when you dealt with this. You're stronger. You're more independent. You know exactly what you want. And because of that, you're, it's like it, it healed your ego. It healed your, um, your self-esteem issues, if you had any. Um, and maybe if you didn't have any, maybe this created some. But either way, this is a card of victory, the Six of Wands. It's like, I almost feel like to say, maybe you're not afraid of being seen anymore. You're afraid, you're not afraid of being out front and center. Maybe Capricorn, you were comfortable being in the back, in the background. Now Capricorn's like, I'm feeling good. I'm looking good. Put me on that horse so everyone can, so everyone can uh, admire me. What is the final outcome for Capricorn? Tell me the final outcome for you guys. What is the final outcome for you guys? What is it, Capricorns? What's your final outcome here? Nine of Swords. You know what I, okay. You know what I'm getting with this? A couple of things. Look at all the eyes on her. Maybe some of you, it's gonna make you feel really uncomfortable because if you're not used to getting a lot of attention, I feel like Capricorn, you're about to get a lot of attention. There's something you're doing that's gonna be successful with the Six of Wands here. Um, because of all the self-focus, I think you're looking better. And maybe it's just some of you aren't that comfortable having so many eyes on you. You know, it's it might bring up a little bit of fear. I mean, Nine of Swords, again, it's just, it's just those fears, you know? Also, I think this past person's going to be looking at you too. Will you know it? Maybe not. 
Will you care? Most likely not. But I just feel like this is the pressure. You're gonna feel a lot more eyes on you than ever before, and that's gonna make you a bit uncomfortable until you get used to it. That goes, uh, to me, that goes highly tuned in with the Six of Wands and the Nine of Swords. When you're in the Six of Wands energy, you're gonna have a lot of eyes on you. You're gonna get a lot of attention, and some of you just may not feel very comfortable getting a lot of attention. Um, let's just clarify a couple things. Let's clarify. Tell me about the strength for Capricorn. Strength and Seven of Swords. I feel like those two need to go together because I feel like this is the same person. So we're going to clarify it as a set. The Strength and the Seven of Swords for Capricorn. Tell me about that Strength and Seven of Swords. Who is this person? What did they want? What were their intentions? A magician. A, a master illusionist. Virgo energy. Virgo Gemini energy. They're, they were a magician. They were trying to, you know, it's just, again, I feel like you were just dealing with somebody who just was out for their own self-interest and you got emotionally invested into this. And when you got emotionally invested, they dropped. It's just like they, I don't know. I don't even know if they ever, it's like they made you feel like they were more invested than they really were. Give me one more on that. And the tower reversed. Because this person's afraid of conflict. They're afraid of long-term actually having to be committed to something. It's like, you know, they create a situation and then run and leave you with it. Leave you with the emotional baggage. Give me another one on that. Yeah, the high priestess. Silent, secretive. They hold things to themselves, keep things to themselves. Look at that, guys. We have three major arcana on that. You know what that means, don't you? On top of the strength card with it, this was a destined event. This was, a, if you realize that or not, it was a destined event. Yeah, moon reverse. I think you you had a lot of sadness. I think you were, I do feel like you were really emotionally invested into the situation. I also feel like they, with the with the magician and the moon reversed and the tower reversed, it's it's kind of like they, they created this illusion. They created the, the like, it, it's like the person, if you, you want them to name what your relationship is. Like, is this a situationship? Where is this going? They would just avoid, with the tower reverse, they would avoid this conversation. They'd give you hints and clues, like they might be in there for the long term, but then you just, there was something with your instincts with the high priestess, you knew there was a part of you. There, your instincts were right on and telling you that this, this, wasn't, this was no long-term kind of thing. Probably pull out and get out of it before you get any more invested. Also with the moon reverse, it's like, I, I feel like you started seeing the situation more clear. Like the, the illusions were dropping away. Tell me about the King of Cups. What did he learn? He or she learn with the King of Cups up there? What did Capricorn learn from this? Why is it the King of Cups? The judgment reversed. I feel like when you, with the King of Cups, make strong decisions. I mean, they, they're leaders, they're fathers, they're, I mean, they're just loyal, they're honest. And with the judgment reverses, I feel there's a lot, I just can't get over the major arcana that's coming out of this deck. With the judgment reverse is, I, you, I think you saw the situation for what it was, but for some reason you don't want to accept it. Maybe you are holding out like a miracle that this person really wasn't a seven of swords, shady kind of character. Maybe they were really a king of cups. This is, this is how you, you wanted to see them because you're just this pure of heart, this hope. Um, because, and also I do think that you are the king of cups in this, well, that's your position, but because you see people the way you see yourself, you see your people, you, you expect people to be fair and honest with you because that's how you treat other people. And the judgment reverses is, I think you, you knew what was going on. You just didn't want to accept it. And maybe you stayed longer in this situation. And as, and the judgment reverses, it's kind of like your life force was being sucked out of you. The longer you were in the situation, the less you felt like you were, it was just like autopilot. And it probably, honestly, for some of you, it could have even led into like a dark night of the soul kind of territory. Tell me about this Queen of Wands reversed. Why in the present situation does Capricorn see themselves as the Queen of Wands reversed? Why, why, why? Why, why, why? Aries energy. You got two of cups. This is you getting aligned to your higher self. 
Queen of yeah, the, because you're doing this self focus, you're doing this healing work. You're you're being you're not in the present situation for whoever I'm reading for. I don't think you're out there. I don't think you're like this major extrovert like a Queen of Wands upright is. Queen of Wands reverse has pulled themselves away from everybody, and they're just doing this deep healing. Like you put yourself in this cocoon. Define your two of cups. Define your balance. But really, I think it's to get connected to your higher self. I mean, we have spirit up there and we have the masculine and the feminine. And I feel like you're just healing all aspects of yourself right now. Tell me about this eight of swords reverse and the energy coming towards you that's influenced this present situation. Why is the eight of swords reversed here for Capricorns? Oh, look at that. Nine of swords reversed. The outcome here is nine of swords upright. Look at this symmetry. That's when, can you guys see that? Is that even, that's not even showing, is it? I'm sorry, guys. I just noticed the camera and it's like cutting off everything. Um, yeah, look at this Nine of Swords reversed. Eight of Swords are reversed and Nine of Swords reversed. The energy coming in is going to heal this mental torture. If you guys are still kind of on the fence about this, if, this, if you're still letting this dictate your present situation, let me tell you, the energy coming in is going to, it's, you're, you're going to get out of this. You're going to get out of this mental prison you put yourself in. So tell me about the Six of Wands. How will this affect you? Why will uh, Capricorn be the Six of Wands? Why, why, why? The world. Because you're letting it close out. And you're walking through that portal. I got chills. Honestly, I got chills on that one. I feel like whoever I'm reading for, you're going through a huge ass transformation. Maybe you were a wallflower in the past. And you let people walk all over you, take advantage of you. But you kept, you, Capricorn, you kept your heart strong. It's like you didn't let people take, like, break you. This And this could be love. This could be job. I feel like this is, we're talking mostly love, to be honest. But the world, yeah, you're allowing the old you to die. And you're allowing this new you, this new confident, sexy you to be born. You're And you're just going to take life by the horn. You're just, you're just, you're going to take life by that hummingbird and fly the hell out of your, your eight of swords. Isn't this funny? Look at that with the wings and they had themselves trapped, right? But look at, it's like you found your own wings. It's, it's like spirit. I don't know. It just feels like whoever I'm reading for, you got majorly healed. This and the major arcana all over this is ridiculous. This was a destined event. Tell me about the Nine of Swords as the outcome. Why is the Nine of Swords? Why are all these eyes on Capricorn? I think we know why Capricorn, because you, you got a major upgrade. What is this Nine of Swords about? Yeah, King of Pentacles. There's Taurus energy. I, I always say this every week to you guys. I feel like you truly are the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, but we know you're the Queen of Pentacles. But we know you like pentacles right you know what this situation brought you it's like you're the king of cups and you're the king of pentacles you're balanced in your money first of all but this is also patience the king of pentacles traditionally you probably can't see it on this gold card but he he runs a vineyard right and if you know anything about grapes they're they're a finicky business you need a lot of patience to grow grapes in a vineyard you need a lot of love a lot of nurturing it takes and just just patience and I think that what you, what this is saying with the nine of swords is you don't know what's coming. You, you don't even care. I feel like you don't even care. You have no attachment to what is coming for you, but you have the patience and your, your, your balance in your emotions, your balance in your intuition. You know, you're going to wait no matter how long it takes to make it the right situation. If this is a job or if this is love, I don't feel like you're going to jump into half-assed situations any longer just because you feel like that's all that that's all you can get. I feel like your self-esteem got healed, your ego got healed. Maybe childhood trauma of how you view yourself got healed, and you know you deserve only the best. You have the patience and the know-how now to lay the foundation for a really strong like le this is like legacy. Legacy money. You, you're only going to invest in situations that's going to bring you long-term happiness, long-term success, and like a long-term foundation. You're just, I, I feel like this is, this was to teach you about yourself. This was to teach you your own self-worth. This person probably played on your sympathies, played on your, your, um, 
I almost want to say innocence, no matter how old you are, you know, it's like our naivete that we trust always the good in people. I think you, you got, you got a snake, you got a snake that, that played on that. But what, what came out of it is the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups, your line, your higher line to your higher self. And it's, I don't know, it's just, I, I really feel whoever I'm reading for, it truly transformed you into the six of wands in the world. It's like you're no longer ashamed. You're not ashamed. Maybe you never were ashamed of your past. Maybe there were some things, maybe some things you wish you could change. But now you're like, I accept myself fully. I mean, I don't care how many people are looking at me. I don't care about the judgment. The King of Pentacles, he knows he's going to be judged because he's at a higher position. Whenever you're at a higher position in life, people are, there are, there are going to be a few that are going to want to take your throne, right? King of Pentacles is like, come, just try I mean, he's so confident. It's like you got your confidence back. That should be the title of this reading. Capricorn got their confidence back. I feel like Stella got her groove back. So, okay, Capricorns, that's what I have for you this week. Let me know. I hope this spread. I just want to try something a little bit different, uh, the spread. But, okay, guys, I hope you have a fantastic week. And be good to yourselves, really. Okay, take care.